Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Ask the Gov. Let's begin. The first question this week comes from Michael in Davenport via email. Michael asks, what are you doing to create jobs in eastern Iowa? I was just at Alcoa for the expansion of their works and over a $300 million investment that's going to add 150 jobs and retain 200 jobs uh, of making aluminum for the auto industry. We also have recently attracted a company to move from Milan, Illinois to Davenport called Lewis Machine and Tool and that will add about 165 jobs. We have over a thousand construction jobs going on down in Lee County, the Iowa Fertilizer Plant. That will grow to 2,500 construction jobs and close to 200 uh, permanent jobs when that plant is eventually built. Also, uh, we have a company used to be called Ipsco Steel, now called SSAB, that uh, has uh, gotten into the steel recycling business in Montpelier between Davenport and Muscatine. I also, on a recent trade mission, uh, called on Nestle's, which owns the uh, dog food plant in both uh, Davenport and in Clinton, and they have expanded both of those facilities. Uh, Nestle's the biggest food company in the world, but uh, they make dog food in Clinton and Davenport and cat food in um, Fort Dodge. So. Uh, we're working every day to bring more industry and good jobs to the state of Iowa and the elimination of the tax on machinery and equipment several years ago certainly helped on that. This last year we reduced the commercial and industrial property tax, another very positive signal and it makes us more competitive uh, and as we compete to bring more good jobs to the state of Iowa we're seeing significant success. Well, Illinois unemployment rate has gone up and they rank 49th. Iowa now is the fifth lowest in unemployment in the nation. So we're working hard every day to bring good jobs to all parts of the state, but especially in eastern Iowa where we're competing with Illinois, which is not nearly as competitive. Our second question comes from Hannah via Facebook. Hannah says, what are your thoughts about getting rid of licensure for cosmetology in the state of Iowa? We're going to do a comprehensive review of all of these professional licensing boards. In many instances, I think the requirements uh, are an impediment for people to go into the professions and, and it also increases the cost. So we're going to be doing a comprehensive review of all boards and all licensing to de determine what is the appropriate level of licensing and, and what, are the, what of these uh, professional licensing boards have gone overboard. Our third question comes from Jennifer from Emmitsburg via Facebook. Jennifer says, why is our state not one of the eight that's requesting our state to be in charge of health care? Um, we actually have recently received approval from, from the Health and Human Services Department at the federal level for Iowa's request for a waiver for Iowa, Iowa's health and, weight and wellness plan. This is a plan that uh, we worked out with the Iowa legislature. We've also set the goal to be the healthiest state in the nation and are working to get people to take ownership of their own health and are partnering with companies like Hy-Vee and Wellmark. Uh, and we have available now uh, uh, nutrition scoring in the, uh, in the Hy-Vee grocery stores. Uh, Wellmark is providing grants for uh, blue zone communities across the state and we're encouraging everybody to look at what they can do by not using tobacco products and things like uh, exercise and nutrition to improve their personal health. We want Iowa to become the healthiest state. We've moved up from 19th to 9th and we're going to continue through our Iowa Health and Wellness Plan to strive to make Iowa uh, the healthiest state in the nation. Thank you.